Hey guys and welcome to my new screencast. T -t Today we will see how to install and use uComplete Vim plugin with uh, PPNV virtual environment support. So first thing you'll need is package installer. I'll be using Wendel because it works just fine for me. If you don't have it installed already, I have attached a tutorial link in the description box. Sweet. So we will install uComplete plugin as uh, usual. The usual way to install plugins in Wendel. Now, once you've installed the U Complete Me plugin, you'll head over to its installation directory. It's usually under dot vim slash bundle directory. So, if you don't have this directory, then uh, U Complete Me plugin has not been inst installed. So, once it installs successfully, you will find uh, this directory, and under that directory, you will find this install.py file. You just execute this install.py file and uh, it will make binaries for you complete my plugin. Now before we go any further I would like you to know that real python has fantastic tutorial on how to get it working with virtual and env support. But the thing with virtual env is that it's getting older. Just kidding. The reason that we cannot use real python method is that virtual en environment uh, virtual env creates its library and binaries in the same directory as your project directory and ppnv works a different way it creates libraries and binaries in different folder now that being said let's see how do we go about it and a little disclaimer that i am no superhuman and i can't remember everything so i already wrote the vim script down in vim rc file of course now head over to vim rc file Sweet. So, uh, before that, let's uh, examine what this particular command is. ppnv hyphen hyphen v e n v. So it gives the installation of virtual environment of our pp installation ppnv virtual environment installation, and one thing to note is that it returns non-zero error code in case of no virtual environment has been found so keep a note of this it will be useful so in your vimrc file uh, first of all type this uh, vim script and let's see how it works so the system function in vimrc issues the command in the shell and the result uh, which is this directory right here gets assigned to this particular variable now the error code i was talking about the non-zero error code in case of no virtual env has been found gets assigned to this shell error now if the shell error code is zero that means virtual environment has been found that then we will assign uh, we will append uh, this python binary to our python uh, virtual environment right here so this plus uh, python binary so this becomes the complete uh, directory structure for uh, ycm python binary path and uh, this will be used to complete uh, i mean to provide the install license for vim uh, if that is not the case that means the virtual environment has not been found then we'll go ahead and use the standard python library uh, i mean the standard python installation binary so just write to the file and source it that's perfect now let's see if this installation worked so far so i'll quit from here all right and uh, as you can see, uh, ppnv for this particular directory has been uh, activated right now. So I'll go ahead and start uh, vim. I'm using Mac vim, just in case you're wondering. So let me open, uh, let me open this file. Uh, this is Kiwi project I was working on. I'm just learning Kiwi right now. So if we uh, import uh, properties from uh, Kiwi library 
it just works like this object property so the u complete me plugin is doing its work and it's providing intelligence it's really useful if you are starting with vim and once you get a hang of it it's a very very useful application so yeah stay tuned for more videos and uh, thank you for watching uh, like subscribe and whatever that is to do just do it and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you